Thank you. Now to a Chicago teen. This is a truly remarkable story. He's been identified as a victim of the notorious highway killer. Get this, the 17-year-old went missing way back in 1983. His body was discovered on an abandoned farm in Indiana. For decades, he was referred to only as Adam Doe. But thanks to the group known as DNA Doe Project, his family is now getting, finally, some closure. And joining us now to discuss the case is the project's senior director of media and communications, Pam Lauritsen. Pam, thanks for joining us. You know, this is just astounding. After more than 40 years, this teen has been identified. So tell us what technology allowed this outcome. So the, the technique we use is called investigative genetic genealogy. Um, we're able to develop a DNA profile based on um, remains that were recovered at the scene in 1983. And then we build a family tree from the genetic relatives that we're able to, um, to see in the system um, in order to kind of narrow into the right family uh, branch of that tree in order to find our John Doe, in this case, Keith uh, Bibbs. And, and Pam, when you're doing your detective work, my understanding is one of the hurdles you're facing is the fact that African Americans are largely unrepresented or underrepresented within the DNA database. Why is that? You know, it has a lot to do with, with trust amongst the community and, and how um, their DNA will be used. Uh, African Americans also tend to be a very private community in terms of their family history in general. So it's a, it, you know, it's an interesting challenge. It comes up frequently as we work on other cases that involve African Americans. And, um, you know, I'm here to tell you that uploads to the Jet Match database and to the Family Tree DNA database um, make a huge difference in our ability to use this technique to solve cases like Keith's. I want to kind of springboard off what Scott just asked you. Asked you. you know, as of late in Chicago, we've seen a slew of young men disappear. Uh, they were later found near the lakefront. And then in other cases, the bodies of African-American women have been discovered abandoned in the city. And some believe this is the work of serial killers. So can the same technology be used almost in a reversal of sorts to crack cases like these? Absolutely. And and we've worked on um, cases that are much more recent as well. Um, these techniques are, are being used across the country in new and innovative ways to solve all sorts of crimes. Well, I wish we had more time. Fascinating detective work and congratulations on a terrific outcome some 40 years in the making. Mm -hmm. Pam Lortz and Senior Director of Media and Communications with DNA Doe Project. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.